Hey folks, Turbine Guy coming back at you. Now today we're on a job site where we've had some technical issues. All the modules in this system have an Emphase IQ6 microinverter right up behind it. And these are UL 1741 listed, which means that they are, have anti-islanding feature in it, which means that when the power goes out, this system's gonna shut down. Every inverter is gonna shut down when they don't sense the grid. So it's not still producing power, whereas you might be able to electrocute a power company guy while working on the system. Well, a main feature of this UL 1741 listing is that when the power is restored, that there's a five minute delay before the microinverters turn back on. And that was one of the issues we had, was it was apparent that when we fired the system up, that there was four to five amps on the meter, on the clamp meter. So the power company would not let me hook this system up until I resolved it to be zero. So I worked with Enphase Energy and went back and forth, and I learned something about reactive energy. According to the Enphase engineers, these microinverters are drawing about 0.1 amp each to charge your capacitors so they're ready to go after that five minute count. So let's get over to the meter, let's get over to the disconnect, let's turn it on and see if the Enphase engineers are right. Okay, well here we are at the disconnect and we can see the clamp meters really reading nothing right there. Disconnects off, so let's turn it on, see what happens. Boom, 4.34 amps, right between four to five, like I said, and this is the issue. Power company would not let me get the meter installed and run the system until I get this figured out why the heck it's putting out a current right away because they don't like that. Well, I'm gonna push my clock and give us five minutes and I'll be right back. All right, well, we're back. This should pop on in 10, 15, 20 seconds and we're still reading the same. 4.36 amps, it looks like. Now, what they're saying is, that a reactive current would be traveling backwards up the system as opposed to coming this way from the solar power and going towards the meter, the production meter. So that's the whole issue is that this meter can't tell you which way it's running. All it can tell you is what the current is. So that's why we're sitting here to watch. Is this thing going to kick over? Is it going to all of a sudden turn on and go or not? Oh, there we go. There we go. 20 three and a half amps so you saw that it kicked on right at the five minute mark so it looks to me like the end phase energy engineers had a good idea what they were talking about so what happened why is it working now and it wasn't working then well the turbine guy thinks that if you look at today we got a hazy blue sky day and that day was not it was a typical minnesota gray day that we get November whenever, when it is just gray, gray, gray everywhere. And I think what happened was it worked right. It went from reactive current to proactive current, production current, pushing it out, but we couldn't tell the difference because it was about the same number of amps. Four amps going reactive, once it turns on, four amps going positive, because on a gray day, you just ain't gonna get much out of a solar system no matter how big. So I think we solved the problem. I gotta say thank you to the Enphase engineers who helped me through it, helped me learn what reactive current is in regards to the systems, and now I know what to look for in the future, and so do you. Turbine Guy, signing off. Hey, when it's time to start your DIY project and you need some help, check out my website at gogreenenergyonline.com or give me a call at 952-334-6400.